Hi there, Gateway Church family, and welcome to episode four of our series called Worship Basics, where we are learning about the basics of worship. We've looked at already a lot about worship and what the Bible says about worship. In this episode, we're going to look at personal worship. Yes, worship is a central part of joining together with the church family. It's a central part to a Sunday service or a midweek service. Worship is so important. But you know, we can also worship when we're on our own as well. The Bible teaches us about this. First of all, the Bible tells us that personal worship is about our relationship with God. Yes, we're part of a family, but I'm so grateful that our walk with Jesus is also personal as well. It's about what Jesus has done for you and me. And we can grow in our relationship with Jesus by spending time with him in the week, by praising in the week, by thanking him in the week, by singing to him in the week, by worshiping Jesus, pouring out our thanks for all that he has done. It's a way where we can connect with God from Monday right through to Sunday. Matthew 6 verse 6, Jesus says, but when you pray, Go away by yourself, shut the door behind you and pray to your father in private. Then your father who sees everything will reward you. Worship can be intimate as well. It can be personal as well. Have time with the Lord daily. Spend time in worship with the Lord. Open your heart to the Lord. Allow God to speak to you. Ask God to fill you with his spirit every single day. Worship can be so important. But you know, personal worship, it can take on many different forms. Worship isn't just about singing, although that is a fantastic way in which we can worship God and connect with God daily. But it's about having a quiet time with the Lord, praying, reading the Bible, meditating on scripture, living out what God is calling us to do. You know, worship can help us to connect with the Lord in a deeper way. And you can do this in various ways throughout your day, throughout your week. Psalm 19 verse 14 says, David says, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Remember, worship is all about focusing on what God has done, giving him praise and thanking him. It's about giving him your full attention. You know, worship, when we do it personally as well, it helps us to grow in our walk with Jesus. It helps us to grow spiritually. When you spend time with the Lord, you'll become more aware of his voice. As you read the Bible, you'll become more aware of God's voice. You'll become more aware of his presence. God will begin to change you by his spirit as you spend time in his presence every day. Your faith will grow stronger and stronger as you worship the Lord and fix your hearts on him. John 15 verse 5 says, Jesus says, yes, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. When we worship personally during the week on our own, we get to know God in a greater way. We can spend time with him. We remain connected to him. And then our lives will begin to bear spiritual fruit, which will bring glory and honor to God. And others will see God at work within our lives. Finally, personal worship, it helps us to grow stronger. It refreshes us as well when we're feeling weak and weary. Worship is a powerful way to strengthen us in our faith. We can find peace. We can find rest as we focus on the Lord. We can lay down our worries. We can lay down our burdens and be refreshed in the presence of God by his spirit. Isaiah 40 verse 31 says, But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. As we worship God every single day, as we worship Jesus every single day, it gives us the strength to face each new day. It reminds us of the faithfulness of God, the mercy of God, that God is forgiven, that God is loving, that we have a hope and a future because of what Jesus has done. So I want to encourage you to do three things. First of all, find a quiet place. Find a place every day where you can spend time to worship the Lord. Have a time with the Lord. Secondly, find a quiet time, the best time. First thing in the morning, it might be last thing at night. It might be during the day, a work break. It might be on your school lunch, whenever it might be. Find a quiet time. Thirdly, quiet your heart. Allow God to minister to you as you worship him. Focus on him. Lay down your worries before him and allow him to minister to you and strengthen you and refresh you. Watch how your walk with the Lord will grow 
as you worship Jesus, not just on Sunday, but as you worship him right the way throughout the week. So as we come to a conclusion, I want to encourage you to develop personal worship. Begin to worship God every day of your life. Spend time with him and you'll grow deeper in your walk with him. You'll begin to know him more and more. You'll find strength for each and every day. So I want to encourage you, worship Jesus, not just Sunday, but Monday right through to Sunday.